Hi subbies, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I know I've not uploaded on Friday and I've uploaded very late today if this camera actually can cope with half an hour on low battery. It's saying at the moment no battery whatsoever so I'm hoping it lasts. If it doesn't it's going to be a day late. Anyway today is Tuesday and it's currently nearly 8 o'clock. It's currently 10 to 8 and I'm so sorry this video has come up late and it didn't come up on Friday. Um, basically something happened um, over the weekend, I didn't do it Friday because I didn't have a video to upload I don't think but then I went shopping at the weekend, I went shopping at the weekend and I didn't upload today or yeah I was going to upload, I was going to upload it on like Saturday or Sunday but obviously then something happened over the weekend and it's still going on now which is personal and it's getting dealt with so it's fine, it's going to be fine now but um, I went to Asda, I'm sorry this video's not, I'm sorry this video's late, I, it's because of that happening, but I'm hoping to get this video up. So I went to Asda, as Living in Guys has opened, as I have said in the previous one, which I've deleted. Anyway, as Living in Guys has opened, I'm so happy, it is ridiculous. I have finally been able to get myself some summer clothing. Um, with it being Payday as well, Payday's just gone literally last week and I've still got money in the bank which is very strange for me mainly because all shops are shut Primax opening next Monday um trying to think other shops are opening next Monday but it's like I don't risk I'm not going to risk going to Leeds because I know it's going to be bedlam going to Leeds once all the shops have opened whereas Asda is very like empty right now and it's a one-way system and they have screens on the tail and it's just easier to go to Asda it's more expensive um but I prefer going to Asda at the moment because it's local and it is like less busy than Primark's going to be so I will be eventually going to Primark but not when it opens but yes I went to Asda and I got myself some clothing I'm super happy with what I've bought um I generally expected some of this to, to be going back to the shop for refunds but in the end it's not going to because it fits me perfectly this is going to be a try and haul but please bear in mind I have already tried all this stuff on um just to see if I need to take anything back and Yes, I'm very excited to get this video, but it's going to be a and haul. Very excited for that. But just before I start this video, I do have a shout out to Grace Tet. Um, one of her, her sister asked for a shout out. So there you are, there's a shout out. I'm sorry it's late. I've explained why. Um, I have, I am mean, going to be doing shout outs again, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to stand it up again so that I'm going to be doing it like once every two months or something. I don't know yet. I'll be giving you confirmed details later on. But I've got a lot of people asking for shout outs and I've shouted out Rebecca and Jessica before. They're the two people that I sent that care package to and their reaction was amazing. I was super happy with their reaction. Um, they were the ones I sent the care package to from the Cherries Hall and they greatly appreciated it. Which I feel very thankful for that they appreciated it because I thought I've not got them much but they're happy with it anyway. Um, but I'm sorry that I've not shouted out many people. It's because I don't want to do like shouts in little videos i'm only doing a shout out today because i did promise this girl i would shout out her sister um but yes i am going to do shout outs again don't know when i'm gonna to have to decide when because it is all very have to announce it then i have to get all shout outs down and that's on one platform instead of all social media but yes guys let's get on with this as the try and haul whichever way you want to go so the first item you'll see in the thumbnail and i decided i was going to get myself a new backpack the Mickey Mouse one, which I've still got at the moment, the zip on the front pocket here has broken. So the only stuff I've got in there now is my antibacterial and my perfume. It's a Royal on perfume by Zoella. I'm still going to use that bag, but I am wanting a bag where I can actually put the keys in the front and have it secure. And I need a new backpack because that one, it's fine. It's fine. I'll use that as a backup, but I want a new one. So the, as they had this one, they also had a Mickey Mouse one. The Mickey Mouse one was the same price as this, or maybe a £2 more expensive, but this one's got more compartments on it and it's fully black and I like it. Um, so this one was £14. My camera's doing really well knowing that it's running off fumes right now. Um, this one's £14 and as you can see it comes with the main compartment, two sides and a small compartment. So with two sides it'll fit most likely, it most likely can fit a phone. Maybe not, no. No, phone's way too big. Yeah, phone's too big. But it can fit like a pack of tissues, as material, etc. in there. It's got two side packets, pox, oh my god. Two side 
pockets. Then the main compartment, I generally thought was the um, um, push the, you have to, like a uh, buckle ones, but it isn't, it's a button one. So, which is gonna be nice if I got home. But it has got this, which I've totally forgot about. I had a bag like this, you know, that um, years ago, I had that one, it was like a twice the size of this. It was like a small backpack, but it's bigger than this one, and it was this white one with butterflies on it. I had that one, and then ended up having to donate that to charity. I even donated it. I threw it away, most likely threw it away because the um, this went as in the full like where the plastic is, the plastic wore away, and it was just impossible to use it. Um, but with this one, it's got a big compartment. It'll fit my water bottle in it, and I'm just going to be using it for work. So in here, there is also a little packet packet a little pocket at the front and also a little zip at the back which i use for sanitary towels because it's a perfect place to put them and then at the front it's a little button um pocket again and that was an ideal bag and i'm gonna be using it for work like when i go out on like to guys and stuff and to leads i either use my big mickey mouse bag to go to leads or little backpacks but I prefer backpacks to handbags because it's just much, much, my God, much more convenient because I always have my shopping bags on my arms anyway. Don't know where I'm struggling with words today, guys. I think it's because it's not filmed in a while. But yes, and it also comes with the straps on the back as well. But yeah, about £14 and I rather like it. I normally don't like black, but it's just simple and it's cute in my eyes. Anyway, clothing now. Let me just get the bag up here because I've got a bit of a bad, bad back at the moment. I fell backwards into the door handle the other day and it's left a quite almighty booze. Um right, so I have put it all in a serious booze bag. Not promotion. Um so in here I got myself some socks. I needed socks for ages. When the lockdown happened, just before I binned a load of missing socks, I either had one which was missing and one with holes in them, so I just went through them really, really like what is it called? Rugly? Not rugly. Oh, what's the word? I went through it really like that and bin that, bin that, bin that, donate that, bin that and ended up with about five pairs of socks so I ended up having to buy more. Um, I've also got some from my wardrobe, I forgot about that. So I got this pair of socks which they're five for five pound. I'm so happy they've got socks in as the These ones we have a little weird cuff though, they have this roll up one but these ones are the flower ones so it, come, it comes with, I'm just trying to take this off. You see it's cheaper at Primark, but the Primark socks... Actually, I've got Primark socks in there and they're alright. But yeah, the, uh, these ones are just a much more different quality. So it comes with blue flowers, pink flowers. They're quite sweet, actually. Um, battery exhausted. Are you? Right, so where were we? Hi. Um, the last clip was yesterday. What happened yesterday was my camera, I said that my camera was low on charge, it was bringing up the battery with no power or whatsoever, it was just running off of, la like, I call it like gas or like fumes or anything, just like the last little bits of battery left in it. And it quit on me and it took until I went to bed to charge. I put on charge at 8 o'clock or half 8, I don't know, I can't remember. I put it on, I put it on charge about 8 o'clock or half 8 between that time. Either that time, yeah, either eight or half eight, and it took five hours to charge. And obviously, by then, it was one ish, two ish in the morning. It definitely took about five, six hours to charge. So, obviously, I couldn't film, could I? At one o'clock in the morning, or two o'clock in the morning, every time it charged it, finished charging that. But it's fully charged today. But yes, I'm in a different jumper to yesterday because that one's soaking and needs a wash anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm a mini mouse one. But yes. It's the Esther Hall, and I'm, I was in the mood to film it yesterday and now someone's come inside and it's causing havoc. She's a little tinker when she wants to be. She has her boisterous moments where she just ploughs her way around the house. But yes, yesterday I got up to socks, didn't I? I've been out today as well to Asda as well. Um, since it's my mum's birthday tomorrow. Anyway, I've done the bag. I've done the socks. Actually, no, I didn't really show you the socks, did I? Because it quit on me in the socks. Anyway, here are the socks. See, I'm not really in the mood now. I am in the mood. I'm going to get into the mood. It's because I've not done an intro. I did the intro yesterday. Anyway, 
Yes. Hi, I'm back. Anyway, so the socks are these blue ones which I showed you yesterday with the flower on top, flowers, and then the pink ones with the flowers on top. I just needed more socks. I ended up throwing away loads away before lockdown and I haven't been able to get socks since. Stripey, this weird, this mermaid pattern should I say, and then there's this really weird like grainy pattern which does my eyes in for some reason. Lucy doesn't like some barking, that's why she's crying. Um, this weird like grainy pattern as well. But yeah, they're the socks, they're a fiver, four or five pairs, which is a great deal. I also got more socks and another top and another top. I'll go get them now. I'll also remember. I've decided I'm gonna do the non try on stuff because it is a try on haul. I'm gonna do the non try on stuff first, so the socks and everything else. Then I'm gonna do the clothes afterwards so I can do that all in one go. So I've gone over the first when I found out they opened, it was like a couple of days before payday and I was skint. I had enough money, like 20 quid, so I was like, I'm gonna go get some socks and stuff because I needed socks. So I got this nice pack of like animal it is animal print. Yes, it is Rachel. So these ones these ones have got obviously not in packaging because I did take them out of packaging. I wasn't gonna film a haul with them because obviously there's only three items about that time. Oh, that's a big palpitation. So yes, this one's got zebras on it in the red background and I've got these cute ones with elephants on. You probably don't really want to be seeing socks but I'm only showing you what I've got. This cheetah leopard print I think it is. I did it Oh, okay. This flower print with a like an animal print background. I don't even call that cheetah or a leopard. Comment down below. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a hectic day today. It's been so hectic. The weather's been on and off. It's humid. Oh. Then this pink pair with, when I get it open, a cheetah on. That one's looking that way, whereas this one's looking... No, that don't work out right, does it? They're both looking. When you put them... Oh, that is irritating. Yeah. So they look in different ways, but like that one's looking backwards, but this one's actually looking forwards towards the sock, if that makes sense. But yeah, them ones, and then the last ones are the white with the um, flowers on top with the cheetah slash leopard print, and they were £5 as well. Basically, I've now got enough socks. I'm happy. Right, I said stuff which I'm not trying on. So I think that's all clothing in there. Right. I went today to Asda. I'll have some Morrison stuff in here as well. Uh, I went today to Asda because my mum's birthday tomorrow. I want to get some birthday banners and stuff. So, with it being a lockdown birthday, I can't go anywhere. Want it to be, and she's not been too good. She's not been well this week, so it's been it's been great. Yeah. Um, I bought myself a system of bottle again. Yes, I know. I've already got one of these. I got the last one from Amazon when I got a gift card from it. As the do the lone liter one now, and I was aiming to get the pink one from Amazon, but they don't. They didn't. They gave me a purple one instead. Um, so I wanted just. I wanted another bottle just so that if that one leaks or if that one breaks or anything, then I'd have another bottle. So we got the pink one today, and this is a liter as well. This one's four fifty at Asda, and it's a pink. I'm happy. It's pink. I'm so happy. It's ridiculous. But yeah, got that. Oh, also, I chipped my phone yesterday. Welcome to Morrison's because I've got to go. I went to get my. my I went to Morrison's yesterday to go get my grandparents shopping and I was shopping and um, with mum not being well I've gone to go out for the shopping, it's same today and I dropped my phone and for the first time ever the phone case did take most of the damage but the phone also is not going to focus there, look at the chip I know it's not a huge chip but to me it's, I'm not happy with it like, look, look at the chip there you go, there's a chip and that's where it bumped on the phone case. So the phone case took most of the brunt, took all of the brunt of it, but it did take a chunk out of the phone, unfortunately. So yeah, that was great. Summer's currently been a tinker in the background. Where was I? I was with this bag, wasn't I? Anyway, I went to Asda and um, got some stuff. I'm trying to get my, where I was now. So I got some Asda. I got some face masks. They are doing these masks now. Um, I saw they're at the till, they're in little baskets, little promotion baskets, and these are Prima for disposable face coverings. 
I'm just running up and downstairs, so my heart's a bit hickety pockety at the moment. Um, the rattle size and they're three layer design. Um, they're not, it says in the corner right there, not to be used, which is not going to focus, there you go, not to be used as PPE or for medical purposes. So at least it's make it clear that it's not for medical, um, hospitals or anything, so it even says in the back, this product is for general use and not intended for personal protective equipment. If this is a non-medical product, please give out children. Average children do not use if the pack or face covering is damaged or broken. Um, use face covering should be disposed of in general waste. And then just tells you how tells you how to use them. Then it says if you have any medical, heart or respiratory conditions, consult your doctor before use. I've worn one of these before, it's fine. But yeah, I have opened them and I have tried them on. Um, but yeah, they're fine, they're just normal surgical face masks. These are £3.50, so a bit pricey, but you do get a four pack. And it even shows you how to take them on, put them on and take them off. But yes, on topic of face masks, I went to Lizzie's Laundry in Guys that Not Promotion. Just saying that she's really nice and she has a really nice little store. She does laundry, she does dry cleaning, she does washing, I can't remember what else she does. But she's also got face masks in. I'm going to leave the website in the description below. Because she's a own self-owned business and she's really nice, so... Went today and they've got face masks in. I messaged them on Facebook and they said they had them in. So I bought two face masks. These are fabric ones. These are the ones I'm going to be using um, when I go out. Because obviously um, it is now a legal requirement to wear face masks on public transport from the 15th of June. I won't be going on buses and that, but I wanted to take more precautions. So as well as wearing gloves out um, to like Morrison's and places and supermarkets. Summer's having a bit of time at the moment, that's why she's barking. Um, I'm going to be wearing face masks as well. So I got the both, the, they're both black with elasticated ears because that's what I wanted. I didn't want the one where you have to tie it in the back yourself. So this one, I prefer this one because this one is a bit, this one's more open. And they are washable, so they're reusable. So like on here, it looks fine already. But what I do is I'm going, every time I put them on now, I don't know if it's this way or if it's the other way up. Um, I think there's a right way to do it, I don't know. It's still working. Anyway, I'm going to do, oh my god, I've got the wrong earrings in from this, guys. I've got my hoop earrings in, so it's getting caught. But yeah, it's triple layer is this. It's got three layers, and it's NHS approved. And it isn't really good for my heart, but it's going to stop me from transmitting anything to anybody else. Or oh, things across trans anything else transmitting to me. But I am going to, like, <sighs> heart's gone wacky now. Um, I'm going to loop them so that it's, it creates a better seal. Because one of my subscribers said you need to wear face masks. Um, they recommend me wear one. But like, oh my gosh, it's going to look so weird right now. But that's looped. Like that. Sorry, there we go. And then the other side, I can loop it. So like, there you go. So it creates a better seal here. But like, there's the face mask. That's that one. They're both the same. I got two with them got two of them so yeah i've got myself some face masks with the coronavirus and then obviously once coronavirus is open over open over i can use them as well but i won't be using them after i'm just going to want to use them for precaution right now but yeah four pound each really good quality and a really good price and yeah if you want to go to her shop i'll leave in the comments down below um but yeah got two face masks four pound each and yeah really good I'm so warm right now. Something else about face masks. No. But like people going out with like surgical ones, I'm not I know I bought them ones but they're not surgical. They're not for um they're not for PPE, they're for just general use for the public. But yeah, don't know what I'll say about that. I've got a weird headache. I think it's because I'm not drank enough today. So yeah, I'm gonna get a drink. Right, I've had a drink. Been in the bar now. Right. Anyway, let's get into good ritual mode now. I got some scissors because for some reason my scissors have gone walkabouts. I jump can't find them and it's annoying me because I always use scissors for like cutting things. Obviously, you dummy. Um, but like for wrapping presents and stuff and I just want them uh, for general use. So these are like, these are two pound and I get two packs. You get a mini pack, a little one and also a big one, which is exactly what I've got in there right now. Um, with it being my mum's birthday tomorrow, I got some birthday banners. 
I got two of these. These are a pound each. It's a silver one which says, it's your, no. A very happy birthday to you. But then on this side it also says, it's your birthday, time to party. So I've got two of them. Two of them. So two of them ones. And then I got a birthday banner. This one was 150. This is birthday banner. Birthday banner garland, and I'm hoping to reuse this for my birthday. Um, but yeah, birthday banner garland because I am highly doubting. I highly doubt that lockdown will be lifted fully in July, and I highly doubt we'll be able to go on holiday this year, unfortunately. My heart's been an absolute idiot today. Um, and then I got two of these happy birthday banners, which is the pink one, just says happy birthday, as in little ones, and then it has the big happy birthday on that side as well. Got two of them, they're a pound each. Then I got this humongous birthday banner, if that wasn't enough. I got this huge one, this was two pound. Um, yeah, it's a birthday banner, I don't know what to say about it. And then at Morrison's, there isn't a limit anymore on antibacterial and hand wash. And because we are running low on hand wash and I'm wanting to get more and antibacterial, I have antibacterial but I'm running low, so I'm wanting to make sure I have enough. Um, and the, every shop now I go into it, they have too much stock of it. So no one's will buy it anymore. So I bought this big, it's a really liquidy one. Whereas the one I've got here, which is this cute cure one, which I've refilled with different um, antibac. It's very, like, jelly. Like, this one's proper, proper liquid. So this one was £3.50. This is a family size one. Um, yeah, family size bottle, £3.50. And you get 300 millilitres in it. This is a Carex one and it has a weird um, pump thing. I don't know what to call it. But I'm going to be refilling the Cute Co one with this one so that one's run out. So that one. And then I also got some antibacterial as we are running low. There is four of us using toilet. Lucy's po toilet. Uh? Lucy's toilet tray. Now she's been toilet tray for a while. And obviously we all use toilet now. Well, we've been using toilet for ages, but like. Lucy's also using toilet, so there's a lot of us use toilet. So we always we're always washing our hands, and with the coronavirus now, we're also washing our hands a lot more often. So I got three bottles of Carex. There's no limit. We are needing it because we go through at least one bottle a fortnight, or one bottle a week. It can be one bottle a week. It depends on how many times we wash our hands. But we have the automatic hand soap dispenser, so I always refill it with a one of these, and then I. Trying to think, recycle these afterwards. But yeah, they're the Carex, the original Dermacare hand washes, and they have. Anyway, that's done. Hand wash done, birthday banner, socks done, bag done, yeah, done. Face mask done. Right, now it's the clothing part. I've been just thrown off my uh, mood at the moment. I've got a weird headache, and the weather's clammy and blah, and just oh, so much happened today. It's like, really? Really? You're really kidding me right now. I'm just so tired. Anyway, so the first item I got this was when it was blue skies and 21 degrees outside. I have thrown away and donated all of my summer stuff. So I had nothing to wear on a sunny except one pair of shorts. So this was two for four pound or two fifty each. They only had one size twelve item. This was this one. So because a size ten or an eight is just way too small for me. Um yeah, no. Oh my god, I'm just not with it right now. But it has adjustable straps, so that's pretty good. But yeah, got myself a vest top. Blue vest top, nothing else about it. Let's try it on. Here you are. I'll go over there when I'm trying anything else. This is just a top. Just a basic vest top. It fits real well. It's a size 12. It fits perfectly. Size 8 or size 10 would just be too small. It fits perfectly. It's 2 f 2 by 50 or 2 4 quid. Just wanted a vest top. Um, but yes, they have a sale. So this top was originally £8 and it is down to £3 now. So I bought this top to crop it. Because this all this says is, if not now, then when, dot, dot, dot. And I'm thinking about cropping it so it could be a crop top for summer. Because um, it was only three quid. If it was eight quid, and I, bought, I would not buy this for £8. But if I did buy it for £8, which I wouldn't do, um, I wouldn't crop it, but because it was only £3, I wanted to make it a crop top. So I'm going to most likely crop it up so that it can be a bit of a shorter top. Not that small, but you know what I mean. Anyway, plain white top with the threes. If not when. 
If not now, then when? So here it is, it is a size 12 and it is see-through. So you can see my bra through it. Oh well. Do I care? Not really. Not at the moment. Anyway, it is a bit big as obviously it's size 12. You cannot see all the way down here because I have not moved over there because it's only your top. But yeah, it goes just below my hips. It is obviously a bit too big for me, but I'm going to crop it. But yeah, that's really it for three quid. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That's really it. It fits. It's nice. It's going to be cropped up. So I'm not missing out anything, am I? Now, this is what I was wanting to show you. Them tops are just, these, these top and the other top are just basic tops. I bought myself a dress. I haven't been shopping for two months, guys. So when I picked this stuff up, I thought, does it suit me? Do I like it? And I just bought it anyway. I was expecting to take half of this shopping back for a refund because I didn't like it. I actually picked out some really nice items that actually suit me, so I'm quite happy. So I got myself a dress. It's this denim dress with short sleeves, pure denim. It's just one piece. Buttons all the way down, two buck buttons, button pockets, which actually work, and pockets. It comes with pockets in a dress, yes, and a belt. This was £18 and it's a size 12 and oh my god, I love it so much. It suits me, it suits my um, body, I don't mean to call it. Yeah, my body and then another heart palpitation then. Um, it suits my structure, I don't really call it, my style. Another one. Um, I did. I had three palpitations then. They're getting worse and worse. Anyway, it suits my posture. I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, it suits me. I really, really like it. And I generally thought that I didn't take it back because 18 quid, and I don't spend 18 quid on one dress. But yes, I spent 18 quid on this dress. And I prefer it buttoned up. Oh my God, my heart's not calming down. This ain't good. I do not want to be calling an ambulance out because I do not want to be going to hospital right now. But yeah, short sleeves, I really, 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 really like it. And I just like the style of it. And it comes with a belt. Oh my God. And two pockets and buttons all the way down. I'm going to have to put my hand down, guys. But yeah, that's the dress. And now going to try it on. Fingers crossed without palpitation. Here it is, guys. Here's the dress. I love it so much. Like, it's me, is this? This is just, like, me. Uh, like I'm still, I just said I love it so much, but I'm still undecided. Tell me in the comments below what do you think of it. But this is the dress, it's £18. Obviously it has the um, belt around it as well. It's just one piece of fabric with buttons on. And it's just so simple and I love it. It's breathable, it's a size 12, it fits me really nicely. Not really much else to say about it, I just don't know. It's got like a slit in the bottom of the actual dress, but... It's just simple and I don't really know guys. I normally go for like dressy up dresses, but you can dress this up or down. So I jump I do like it, but I'm still undecided. So Sam's going to, oh my god. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of this dress. And I know I'm sorry about the angle. Um with it having I cannot do I can't get the right angle on landscape, so I've had to do it portrait so that I can get it the like the full length of the dress instead of just the first half or the second half. But yes, here's a dress. I really like it, but I'm still decided. Tell me in the comments below. Yes, guys, that was a dress. I really like it. But I just don't know. Does it suit me or not? Tell me in the comments below. It's cost. I'm not used to getting new clothes at the moment due to the fact that everything's in lockdown. Thanks, coronavirus. Next item is this. I got myself an off-the-shoulder top as the other one. I still have got it. I've still got it. And I've still got it. It is creased because I folded it up. But this is an off shoulder top. I'm pretty sure I've had one of these before. I don't know, I'm boinging it. Um, it's a blue top with buttons down the front. It's really nice. And I think the one before that I had before, I don't know I'm repeating my words, just ignore me. Um, the one before, I don't think, I think I actually kept it. No, I, th um, I, don't, oh, I got a refund on it because it just wasn't me. But this one's Asda, so it's different. She says. Um, but it's 14 quid, guys, for one top. This is why I go to Primark. For £14, and actually suits me really well. So, yes, here's the top. I'm now going to try it on. So, here's the top, guys. Here it is. Um, if any of you have 
um, any hacks on how to keep the sh um, the off the shoulder part from going up. Do you know when you do that? If and it goes over the shoulder. If any of you have got any hacks or any ways to keep them off the shoulder, I'd be forever grateful. Please comment down below. I saw one about the um, the little there's a little piece of um, what do you call it? It's like thread that goes on the hanger on the inside of it and I've read up that they've um, if you put your arms through and put it over the shoulder or next to the shoulder it shouldn't go over it shouldn't it shouldn't go over the shoulder when you put your arms up but it's not working on me but here's the top please comment comment down below what your opinions on it is I really 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 appreciate your feedback on opinions of clothing because I don't know if I suit it or not I just generally don't have any idea because I've not shopped in two months like anybody else. Nobody's been able to shop for two months. I don't shop online um, for like clothing. I really don't like shopping online for clothing. So this is why I'm like a bit, do I like it? Do I not like it? And it's like, there's one pair, I've got a pair of jeans and they're definitely key because they fit me so well. But I don't know about this top. But yes, comment down below if it suits me or not. Because I generally don't have a focus of clean. But yeah, here's the top, 14 pound, bit pricey, but i got jeans, I got myself some jeans, these are size 12, um, high rise skinny with stretch. I was a bit um, indecision about this, if that's a word, because it's high rise, I normally don't get high rise jeans, but oh my god, these fit me so well, I'm so happy with them, they're better than these ones, they are, like, they're amazing. But yeah, so just plain denim, I needed some more jeans, because they've either been stained by summer, or they're just worn out. So yeah, I've got some high res jeans and these were 14 quid. So as you can tell, I spent another 60 quid on the dress, the jeans and the top and the socks. Whereas at Primark I can get at least 20 different items for 60 quid. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to try these on now, but yeah, they're really nice and comfy. And they're definitely different to the ones I've got on now. Because the ones I've got on now are not high rise. The ones I've got on now are just basic jeans whereas these are high rise jeans i never get high rise jeans but i am in the future and it's a hunt to find them in asda because sometimes either customers or the staff put them in different hangers especially if it's on sale so you have to make sure it's size 12. i always get size 12 but here they are what a different angle that is anyway the high rise so they are supposed to come up like to my belly button which is where they are now and they're really nice i really like them they shove my <laughs> They show my legs really well, <laughs> really well on the hips. It's like, this is why I want to like crop my crop, like the top so that I look older. Cause normally that, I just don't look my age with my top like that. Whereas when I have my top like rolled up or cropped, I do look my age cause it's showing off my curves more, which is what I'm wanting. But they are weird how high they are. Cause I'm not used to high rise jeans, but um, yeah, I like them. They are definitely a keep because they're showing my legs and god knows what else off. But yes guys, they're my jeans. I love them. Not they are uncomfortable to sit in though because they're so high up. Anyway, it's mum's birthday tomorrow. Today is the 10th of June. Which means it's a month till my birthday tomorrow. And then holiday. Supposedly. Anyway, I got my mum's present through. I ordered her a Pandora. I've got an extra delivery because it would have been too late if I ordered it three delivery which was going to be because it was over 35 quid the charm was 35 pound and because it was over 30, uh, because it was over 30 pound it get free delivery but the standard delivery is four six days and that was the start of this week and obviously it's tomorrow so I've got an extra delivery it cost me a pretty penny but yeah got a Pandora because we now have summer, my grandma got her some key, some um, charms for Sky because Sky passed away in October. Don't remember my voice went then. I decided I was going to get her a charm for summer because she's got one for Sky. She's got so many for Sky, like paw prints and stuff, but she hasn't got one for summer yet. I hope she hasn't got this one anyway. But this is a Labrador charm. And will it focus? Oh my god, look at the focus on that. There you go, that is the charm. Look how cute it is. Um, it is a dangly one. What a view. Um, it is a dangly one, but there's the charm. It's a Labrador puppy, and it even has a little tag on it, which is dangly as well, which 
has very nice details on it. Let me just zoom in a bit more. I want to get a really good angle on, really good zoom in on this. Yes, my nails are awful. But yes, here it is. It is so cute. This was £35. I will link in the description below if you want to look at it. This is not a promotion. I wish it was. But yes, here's the charm. And obviously, Summer is a pure lab. And she's a little tinker at the moment. But once her once her uh, puppy teeth come out and her adult teeth come in, she'll stop biting. She's a very nippable dog. She nips a lot, which is causing a lot of hassle. But we knew that it was gonna, she was going to nip. But yeah, here is the Labrador charm. It is super adorable. I haven't worn my Pandora in absolutely ages, as in months, because I only wear it out when it's not raining or like on a special occasion. I should wear it more often so the charms can dangle and wear the bracelet down, but I really don't. I don't like wearing it because of how expensive it was altogether. <sighs> Sorry, the concentration on that was ridiculous. Um, but yes, that's her present and I think this video will now be going up tomorrow instead of today due to the fact that I don't want mum to find, my mum to find out what um, her birthday present is from me. Um, but yes, that is her present and that is the video guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe and below. I shall see you all on Friday supposedly. I don't know yet because... I have got nowhere else to go, I'm not going to Leeds, I have not done a Cherries order yet because I don't need anything from Cherries at the moment, um, but yeah, that was really, that's it guys, thank you for watching, these high rise jeans feel really weird, especially now I've got a full bladder, which is fantastic, anyway guys, see you on Friday, hopefully, with another video, bye guys, leave yourself a smile and stay safe everybody.